Hey everyone, welcome to the next lecture. In this one, we'll talk about how we can start indexing our NumPy arrays and how we can reshape them. Let's get started. We'll go ahead and import NumPy as NP. Now let's make a simple array. We'll say array A is equal to a NumPy array and we'll give this one the shape of two, three. So we'll say one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So now we should know that this one has a shape of a tuple two, three, because it has two rows and three columns. We'll go ahead and verify this. So we'll print array a dot shape. We'll save our file and open up a command prompt or a terminal. And I'll type Python three numpy indexing lesson one dot pi to execute. And we see that we get that tuple of two, three. Now let's talk about a new attribute to our numpy arrays. Every numpy array has a size attribute. The size attribute is just the number of columns times the number of rows. So since we have two rows and three columns in this array, that means we have two times three, which is equal to six. We can see this in our terminal. So we'll say array A dot size and print to our terminal. But what does the size attribute mean for us? If we reshape an array, the sizes must be the same before and after we reshape it. Let's go ahead and make a new array. We'll say array B and we'll reshape this from array A. We can use the method reshape and this is a function that takes two arguments. The first argument is the number of rows and the second is the number of columns. So since we have a size of six, we only have a few options. We could reshape this to one and six. So one times six would still give us the size of six or we could reshape this to three and two. If we were to try to reshape this to three and three, we would get back an error because the sizes are inconsistent. So we'll leave it as two and then we'll print array B. We'll save this and execute it. And now our array has three rows and two columns, but maintains the size of six. In this example, all we've done is switch the number of rows with the number of columns, and that's a transpose. In NumPy, we could have just said capital T. We'll save this, and we should get the same result that we got before, which is exactly what we get. So now we should know how we can reshape our arrays and how we can transpose them. Let's talk about how we can pull out specific values using indexing. In NumPy, indexing is done by using integer values in square brackets. We'll talk through a couple examples. So we'll say print array B. So we're using this array that we just created of shape three, two. We'll use those square brackets. And let's say that we wanted to pull one row of information from our NumPy array. We can do this by using the index position of that row. So in our example, 1, 4 is in the zero index position because NumPy starts at zero, 2, 5 is in the first index position, and 3, 6 is in the second. So if we wanted to pull the first row, 1, 4, we could just put a zero here, save our script, and then I'll comment this one out, that way we don't get it confused, and print this. Now we returned only the first row in our NumPy array. Now let's look at how we can return an entire column. You're essentially wanting every row value, but only at a certain position. To do this, we could say print array B and to specify every row in Python, we can use a colon. So we're saying every row, but we only want a certain column. So we need to specify the position of that column. In our example, we only have zero and one because it's a length of two. So in our example, let's get the second column or the first index column. We'll use a one, we'll save and print this. And now we returned four, five, six, which was just every value in that second column. But what if we only wanted to pull out one specific value? We'll do this by saying print array B square brackets. And instead of using a colon for every row, we'll say the first row or the zero index row and the first value. So zero, zero. We'll save this and we should be returned a one, which is what we get. So now we should know how we can index values out of an array. If you feel comfortable with this and also with transposing and reshaping arrays, then feel free to skip the next optional project. If you would like more practice, I'll see you then.